Something that I used to have a really bad problem with was my shyness and hiding behind that shyness. Uh, for me, I grew up um, with the ability to always, and it wasn't a good ability to have, but I was always intimidated by other people. Uh, I kind of walked on eggshells worrying whether or not I was good enough and whether or not I, I could amount to other people's expectations. But in all honesty, the expectations that I was worried about didn't even exist. They were all made up in my head. Um, I grew up with somebody in my family who is very worried by other people's opinions, and that kind of rubbed off on me. So I grew up with this mindset that I was shy, and there was nothing I could really do about it. And in all honesty, that was a bullshit excuse. That was something that I stood behind that really hampered my ability to connect with people. Uh, and it kind of made me seem really weird. Um, I can imagine, you know, well, actually, I did have one time at a party, someone told me, you know, that I was weird because I was so quiet all the time. And that was because I was so just wrapped up in myself and consumed with the idea that people would judge me and that people really gave a damn about what it was I had to say. And to be honest with you, you know, that isn't the case. You know, um, if you are dealing with shyness or, you know, the ability where you feel that, you know, it's hard for you to communicate with other people, um, get out of it, you know, just step aside, step outside from your shell and look at the possibility of what could happen if you don't connect with other people. Um, you know, something that really clicked with me was I went to a Danny Johnson event and my first Danny Johnson event she talked about shyness. Now, a little bit more information on me. I was so shy uh, to the point where, like, if I had to give a presentation in school, whether that was high school, grade school, college, anything, I would actually skip out um, the day of the class, you know, the day that I was supposed to give the presentation, and I would try to skip out on as many days post uh, presentation day just so I could try to get out of delivering that speech because I was so just terrified of standing in front of people. I was afraid that people were judging me based on my weight, based on my appearance, based on the things I said, the things I didn't say, all these just ridiculous things that kept me from growing. Um, and it wasn't that I was introverted. I mean, I am kind of introverted. If you see me at a party or an event or something, I'm the kind of person who is standing uh, engaging in a conversation one-on-one -on -one with per somebody because I am that kind of person that likes to dig in deep with people and, and really get to the root of the person and learn somebody in and out. And I'd rather be doing that than entertaining a lot of people and trying to be just some crazy wild flower who is just socializing with everybody. Although I do enjoy being humorous, but um, so that's me. That is me. I'm not somebody who is just actively out and just being the life of the party. That's not how I am um, by design. So when I went to this Danny Johnson seminar, Danny Johnson said something that blew my mind. And that was the idea that having ego um, or having shyness is an ego. And I thought, what? Like, how the hell can that be an ego? But it is. Um, it's an ego because you are putting yourself and your worry about what other people think about you and how they're going to be receptive to you. And you're using that as an excuse to share your life with somebody, to talk to somebody, to compliment somebody, to smile at somebody, to talk to somebody about the coaching opportunity. I mean, all of those things are keeping you from engaging with somebody, maybe changing somebody's life. And for that, that is pretty selfish. That's a huge ego because you are so wrapped up in yourself that you don't see beyond it. You don't see what cool possibilities lie outside of that comfort zone of stepping away from yourself and just foregoing all of that shyness and all of that stuff that's just keeping you from really living the life that you deserve. So when I heard Danny Johnson say this, of course I was kind of like, you know, anybody would be taken aback, but I have to admit that since listening to that, since hearing that from Danny, 
things have changed for me because I no longer want to just be quiet. I no longer want to not share something with somebody because I'm so wrapped up in what they're thinking of me. I've grown the attitude of, you know, you can't walk on eggshells your whole life. You can't be trying to kiss everyone's ass your entire life because not only is it darn near impossible and you're going to lose who you are as a person, but you're going to miss out on sharing a lot of incredible things with people and giving people a piece of your real soul. And I think it's no coincidence every person that you run into your entire life. You know, everybody comes into your life for a reason. And just that one stranger walking across your path when you're on the street or, you know, passing by in a store, they could have just, by interacting with them for even one minute, taking down that barrier of shyness and being able to engage with that person for one even minute, Imagine what you could learn from it. Imagine how you can grow. So I no longer stand behind that. Um, it was something that weighed me down and it kept me from being the kind of person that I want to be. So now I look to not please everybody um, because I understand that in pleasing everybody, I'm pleasing nobody at all because nobody really even gets to know the real Kelly. So I encourage you to step outside of your box. Stop using your ego of being shy and being terrified of what you could say and how it could offend somebody because really the people who truly you know you want to live with or work with or even relate to those are people who are going to understand you who are going to get where you're coming from so screw being offended screw worrying about offending people and screw the idea that you're not good enough for this you are good enough for your life so step out of your shyness be a better person, grow, and get uncomfortable, or I'm sorry, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. All right, thank you.